Hi there. Nobody that old should move that fast. Just keep telling yourself that. Hmm. Joey, she could see you. How could she do that? I don't know. But I think this case just got a hell of a lot more complicated. Fantastic. It's my rainy day jar. I put some money in here whenever I think of it. It's a trick I learned from my mother. There's around $60 in here now. An old coat I picked up at the thrift store. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind. Well, this is it. Yep. All's quiet so far. Closed, locked, and barred. I'm not getting in this way. Not many lights on at this hour. 53rd Street and Lexington Avenue. A thick wooden wall enclosing the construction site. The gate is locked. I can't get through. Nobody's getting in this way. Nobody living, anyway. A thousand little windows. A thousand little lives. 53rd and Lex. Alright, I'm going in to check it out. Stay close to the wall. Yeah, sure. Let me know what you find. Hello? Anyone here? Ah. Well, what do you see? Is it clean? I'm afraid not. Well, hurry up then. I feel stupid pressed up against this wall. Looks like a foreman's trailer. They have no right. No That's the way out of here. Right. That what thing hasn't seen much use in a long time. Did I leave the castle? She looks middle-aged, but it's hard to tell in her current state. Like most ghosts, she doesn't seem to be aware of her surroundings. Hey there! Huh? Could someone be there? Of course not. No one would be so rude as to enter without knocking. Hey lady, I'm talking to you. No, the door is closed. Nobody is there. Only way in is if I open the door. And to do that, he'd have to knock. <sighs> I'll be back. Friggin' spooks. Hello out there. Joey, what are you doing in there? I need you to do something. What? Knock on the gate door. Knock on the door? Why? I'll explain later. Just do it. A knock. Oh my! A visitor! Uh, just a minute! Is my hair okay? It'll have to do. Hello? Hello, miss. Hello? Can I help you? I'm Joey Malone, miss. Well... Mr. Malone, to what do I owe the pleasure? What's your name? Excuse me? Your name? My name is on the door. If you don't know who I am, then why are you here? I'm a bit lost. Can you tell me where I am? Sorry, I'm not sure what you mean. Are you looking for a specific apartment or... Apartment? You mean we're inside a building? Yes? Are you feeling all right, mister? You're not in a building, lady. Take a look around. I don't know what you're talking about. We're on the third floor. Look, there's the elevator down the hall. Ah, right, yeah, I see it. Are you sure you're feeling all right? 
I'd like to ask you some questions. Look, I've had enough. I'm not going to stand here and indulge in idle chit-chat. Who are you? I'm with the gas company. I was sent to check your apartment for leaks. Didn't you come this morning? Uh... Yes, you did. You found nothing and you charged me a fortune. That must have been someone else. You're not fooling me. You're one of them, aren't you? One of them? Who is them? I told you all before, I am not leaving. The only way you can drag me out of here is as a corpse. Goodbye. They have no right. No right. Cheap material. I want nothing to do with it. Just a fan. Just a bunch of drawers. It says Seagram Realty. I guess they're the guys who own this construction outfit. Let's take a look-see. Harriet Sherman. I have no idea who she is, but any lead is a good lead. My guess is that she's not too happy with the foreman. This lady is upset because she's been stiffed five bucks a month. Hmm, the name under the picture is Farrah Fawcett. I wonder if she likes dead guys. Oh, look, an ashtray. Maybe the kid should get a job here. I can't make heads or tails out of this thing. So, is it all taken care of? Not yet, dear. Slacker. Got her. There's a phone number, but no address. Harriet Sherman? Who is this? My name is Lauren Blackwell. What do you want? I'm calling from Seagram Realty. Oh, why didn't you say? You've got my $60. Um, yes, yes, I do. But before I give it to you, I have to ask you a couple of questions. Fine, fine, fine. Come on by and I'll answer whatever you want. 24 Rector, down in Battery Park City. Just buzz up. So, Joey. Yeah? Got any spare cash on you? Sorry. Left my wallet in my other pants. Probably the pair I was buried in. Hmm. The things I'll do for a case. Come on. Let's get out of here. Right behind you. Mrs. Sherman, if you don't mind. You from Seagram Realty? Yes. Have you got my money? I wanted to ask you a few questions first. You're welcome to ask me anything you'd like, after you give me the money. You got it? I sure do. It's about time. Give it here. Here you go. Hmm. It's all here, sure enough. I'd say thanks if I hadn't had to fight tooth and nail to get it. What teeth, you old bat? 
Don't worry about it. Oh, well, I won't. Now, you wanted to ask me something? So tell me about yourself. Me? What do you want to know? Your name came up during an investigation I'm working on. Investigation? Don't you work for Seagram Realty? Not exactly. Ah, you just use them as a way to get to me, huh? Yes. Is that a problem? Oh, not at all. Just don't expect your money back. She's all heart. What can you tell me about the construction site on 53rd Street? You've been there? How's the old place looking? It's a big hole in the ground. Ha! Can only be an improvement. I used to live there. Then Seagram Realty bought it and tore it down. Going to build something new and fancy, no doubt. They kicked you out of your own home? No big loss. The place was a dump. Plus, they wanted it so badly that they paid most of us a monthly stipend just to leave. Pretty generous, actually. I can almost forgive them for nearly robbing me. So they paid you money to leave? Yup. Like I said, it was a pretty generous deal. Building was about to be condemned anyway, so everyone was grateful for the offer. Well, everyone except for Mavis Wilcox. Who is Mavis Wilcox? A lunatic is what she was. She lived down the hall from me, so I know how crazy she was. Why was she crazy? She refused to leave is why. Seagram was offering her a fortune, but still she refused. Why did Mavis refuse to leave? She was a lunatic. I believe I already established this. A total shut-in. The prospect of leaving her little apartment terrified her. I'm old and feeble. If I could manage the move, she could have. Of course, it doesn't matter now. Did they ever get Mavis to leave? Oh, you could say that. Yes, you would definitely say that. She left all right. Left the entire world, in fact. You mean she died? Yes. Someone broke in and choked her to death, right in the apartment she loved so much. I'd call it ironic, if it weren't so tragic. Did they ever find out who killed Mavis? No. Some street kid, most likely, thought the building was empty and went in to steal whatever was left over. Didn't count on anyone being there. Bumped into Mavis, then had to kill her. Happens all the time. How well did you know Mavis? Like I said, I lived just down the hall from her, on the third floor. I didn't know her well, but she did get some mail just before they smashed the place up. I took it, just in case a relative or something came looking. But it's been six months, and nothing. Anything else you can tell me about Mavis? Just that she lived on the third floor with me. There's nothing else. Do you still have Mavis's things? Yes, I do. Such as they are. There wasn't much, just that envelope on the counter. Could I look at it? You knew Mavis? Sort of, yes. Well, you might as well take a look at them. Nobody else has come looking. Thanks. Goodbye, Mrs. Sherman. Don't mention it. There's not much in here, just a photograph and a letter. That's her. That's the ghost at the construction site. So our ghost's name is Mavis Wilcox. I'd bet the farm on it. This kid doesn't look too happy to be with Mavis. He's wearing a Columbia University sweatshirt. 
That's her. Definitely the lady at the site. I'm going in again. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait here. Hey, kid. Knock on the gate again. Another visitor? Oh, you again. I'd like to ask you some questions. Look, I've had it. I'm not going to stand here and indulge in idle chit chat. Who are you? It's me, your son. Sam? Yep, that's me. Sam! It's been so long. Look at you! Yeah, look at me. Sorry, I was so rude. I almost didn't recognize you. Come on in, Sam. I'll make you dinner. Ah, uh, no, I, I can only stay for a minute. I have some questions I need to ask you. Of course, Sam. So, Mom, how's it going? Oh, you know me, Sam. It's tough living here on my own. But I get by. Yeah, I can see that. Listen, Mom, I need you to think very carefully. What's the last thing you remember? What do you mean? Answering the door and seeing you, of course. And before that? Nothing. You know nobody comes here. Except for the grocer, sometimes. And that... That who? Nobody. So, Mom, how are my brothers and or sisters? That's not funny, Sam. You know you're an only child. Right, just checking. How's Dad, Mom? Oh, Sam. You know that your father is dead? John Durkin died years ago. Ah, right. Sorry. Mom, look around carefully. Are you sure that you're at home? You're so confusing, Sam. Look at the door. It says D, clear as day. I'm going to go now. I'll come back to visit you soon. Sure, Sam. I'll be here. Trying to get rid of me, will they? So how's your new friend? Oh, just dandy. If John Durkin was Sam's father, it's only logical that Sam's last name would be Durkin. <laughs>